This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. I'm Marley Oxenholm here at Securing Hardware in San Francisco, and I'm with some of the speakers and trainers that are here today. Would you mind introducing yourself for us? Hi, I'm Sammy Kamkar. Nice to meet you. And tell me more about your talk today. Um, so I was talking about uh, essentially attacking vehicles and vehicle key fobs, how we can communicate with them and how they communicate to vehicles and, and how you can essentially attack that communication. Very cool. What do you think uh, that one of the most important things is that students take away from your talk? Um, I hope that they took away essentially how to research a problem or uh, essentially just learning, understanding something that they don't know anything about. Mm -hmm. Because something with vehicles is that you there's very little information that's publicly available um, versus a lot of other devices where you can find data sheets, information, manuals, documents, all about the underlying chipsets. Mm -hmm. When you're looking at a car, unless you're a major car manufacturer, a tier one, you're not going to have any information and none of that's available. So how do you actually attack a problem when you have, have virtually no information on the problem itself or the the device. That's a very good point. And now I'm curious, do you often see vendors, you know, in making measures to protect against these types of attacks? Yeah, definitely. So I think every major vendor is working on preventing and, and learning new attacks. I'd say in the past few years, because cars have become so connected and have so much more technology, mm -hmm. now they're really paying attention because there's so many more issues. So uh, I'd say in the past five years, I'm seeing a lot more uh, you know, positive work from the vendors and manufacturers. Okay, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's awesome. And now I was curious, are there any books or online resources that you would recommend for a beginner that wants to learn more about this kind of stuff? Um, yeah, I would say, you know, a, a lot of the just YouTube, uh, write-ups, uh, FRAC, um, POC or GTFO, it's a, a you have a sort of magazine, online magazine. Um, anything on reverse engineering, um, hardware, software-defined radio, uh, and software. I mean, th those are the areas to look into. Yep. Okay. And lastly, what got you interested in this field? Um, I got interested because I just wanted to get better at video games. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to write cheat software. So I started writing, I started writing cheat software open source uh, when I was a kid mm -hmm. and I started releasing that. And then all of a sudden all these game menu, these game vendors started creating software that prevented my software from working. And I was like, oh wow, people are working against me. And it sort of became this cat and mouse, really fun thing for me to see, can I write new software that then evades their, their countermeasures and still cheat at that video game, like Counter-Strike, for example. And uh, that, that really got me into it. That's so awesome, very cool. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. I appreciate it. This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. <laughs>